Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we will talk about humanoid robots or whether they are getting scary day by day or they are taking over in 2025. Let's explore. Today we will explore the rise of humanoid robots and their impact on society. In 2025, humanoid robots are expected to be common. They will work alongside us. This may seem daunting, but understanding their role is crucial. Let's break down the path toward integration. First, we look at the technology behind these robots. Humanoid robots mimic human movements and interaction. They can act same to humans when they what they are asked to. They use artificial intelligence. Next, we focus on the benefits. What are the use of humanoid robots or why they have been created? These robots can improve productivity. Yes, they less human effort and they improve the productivity of the humans. They also provide assistance to seniors and those with disabilities. They work very, very, very fast for the seniors and for disabled persons. Imagine having a helper who never tries. Yes, this is very much true because our helpers or maids get easily distracted or get easily tired. So humanoid robots cannot easily be tired. Now let's discuss its concerns. Many fear these robots will take jobs. So what will the humans do next? We have we have a fear of it. The truth is they will change job roles, not eliminate them. For instance, humans will oversee robots focusing on complex tasks and the humans will instead do other jobs. Consider a scenario, meet Jamie, a busy professional, yes, a very busy professional. For example, for instance, Jamie relies on human and robot to manage household chores and instead of doing himself or herself these jobs he is taking over a robot to do its job this gives jamie more time with family with family friends and her job the robot becomes a valuable part of the family now let's simplify the concept future what will robots do next in future let us study them further Picture a smartphone. Now let us see in the display that there is a smartphone. Now what will it do? Just like smartphones change communication, humanoid robots will shift our lifestyles. Yes, they have ability or capability to change our lifestyles. They enhance our capabilities, making everyday tasks easier. And this is the most important work done by humanoid robots. In summary, humanoid robots are not replacing humanity. Yes, they totally are not replacing humanity. They are tools designed to support us. They only support us. Yes, they will make our time safe, for instance. As we embrace this change, we can shape a better future together. What can you do next? Now, what can we do next with having a human robot? Stay informed about robotics developments. We must have to stay tuned and stay uh, informed about robotics developments. Engage in discussions about ethical implications. And these are really, very really much important for society. Get ready for a world where humans and robots coexist harmoniously. Means they will work like co uh, workers, and our future begins now. Let us see what these humanoid robots will do with you. They are not taking over. Yes, if we are scared of that, or uh, if we are uh, feeling fear, so we must have to become fearless. Despite vivid sci-fi portrayals, humanoid robots aren't staging a cope. Instead, they are being integrated into our lives through through what they are going to be integrated in our lives. They are our helping hands. Industrial and factory work. Figures like Tesla, Optimus, Figure AI's Figure 2, Boston Dynamics, Electric Altus, 
pilot programs expanding, Agility Robotics Digit is rolling out in warehouse like Amazon's, and Figure AI is bought Q factory aims up to one to triple zero robots annually means the robots have taken the jobs of the humans real world uses include manufacturing logistics care services disaster response and healthcare support not hostile are they scary no i don't think so that they are scary they are just helping us they are giving us ease as our helpers giving are giving us ease yes this a bit uh, we may say that it's complicated Yes, it is complicated and it, it can be complicated. The fear factor isn't about rebellion. It's mostly psychological and ethical. Yes, the fear lies in our head means um, it's uncanny valley effect or um, when the boats look almost but not quite human they are they can feel really off. This triggers an emotional revulsion called the uncanny valley. Let us discuss this term uncanny valley from Wikipedia or you can just ask me in the comment box below so that I can explain it for you or you may can google it. Now ethical and safety concerns. What are the ethical and safety concerns? Some worry about job displacement, surveillance, privacy or over dependence on robots calls for regulation like a robot bill of rights. AI dominance organization. Security alerts and unforeseen behaviors. Whether we should be uh, like we should be secure from these humanoid robots or not. A unitary report reportedly malfunction and surprise people during a UFC demo, sparking unease. The things which I'm going to discuss here, I have totally gathered them from Google. Lawmakers in US have expressed concern about Chinese made humanoids being potential security threats. New York Post, what New York is going to tell us? Nonetheless, these events don't point to hostile AI. It's more about safety protocols, oversight, and transparency. Let, now, let us have a look at a summary table. Expected reality in 2025. In the era which we are living or which we are going through. Takeover risks. Low reports are being used, not over 20 society. Applications, industrial logistics, and environments. Scary factor mostly psychological and uncanny valley and ethical security. Regulatory push viewing calls for responsible design, privacy measures, and safety oversight. Final thoughts. Let us discuss the, what are uh, what would be our final thoughts and the making of or uh, having a human eye trouble in our homes, etc. Offices, etc. Should it be safe or not? It's exciting to see human eye robots become functional tools, not sky fi ones. They are helping us have a level of this to dangerous jobs and even save lives in disasters. They said vigilance is vital. Yes, vigilance is very much vital and important aspect. Designers must avoid the uncanny alley. Regulators need to ensure safety, privacy, and fairness. Hope you have liked the video. If you have liked the video, please don't forget to like, share, and